Hello everyone I hope you all are doing well and welcome to another fantasy match review this is for the first test match between Pakistan and England and while there's been a lot of rain around against in other internationals we don't expect the same here and we have Nikhil bhai with us today and while rain is not the problem we have different problems in this test match with some infection so Nikhil bhai let's not start with the base team let's start with your predictions on whether the 11 that England have laid out will actually play uh so far so no news has come out while the time of the recording so we are hoping it should be the same 11 that goes on to play which is a very tricky and a very important 11 we will come to bare mein discuss karenge aage but it tells you how critical because then that is what decides who to take and who to not take in your fantasy so hopefully everybody is fit and fine and healthy of course Yes, absolutely. So on that note, first up, let's talk about what are the expected venue conditions for this game. So the game is going to be played at Pindi, and typically most of the grounds that we've seen in Pakistan, the pitches have been flat. It's been all batting, batting, and batting. We saw on the Australia series, and there's no indication, at least for us till now, to believe that anything is going to be different or any better. So, Nikhil, by any thoughts on how you change your team or alter your team based on that, or is it just loading all the batting in? Yeah, as I said, we talked about the selection that uh, England have done. Uh, how hmm. Pakistan select their level will be very, 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 very crucial. And again, I cannot stress enough on the very because if it's a road and they are hmm. not expecting wickets to fall, then it won't make sense to load your team with bowlers. Uh, while it is a red flag for me to invest less. So this is also a way for you to learn about yourself that which are the kind of games that you are better at playing. I am not hmm. great at playing a game with more batters that are involved. I try to I prefer games where more all rounders are involved because then I feel I have more room to make a uh, make an error. So hmm. average score here has been around 300. Uh, and if it's going to be a road, both teams have enough batters. But balls hmm. are so problem nahi So then. Whoever you take from the bowling also, you will want them to contribute with the bat. So, you have to take bowler or a player in your team, which will contribute to department. Se bhi aapko contribute kar uh, hmm. Now, Anderson will not score with the bat. No, not everybody can score 81 against uh, everyone. But uh, having said that, Oli Robinson is a handy choice. Similarly, hmm. you will have certain, like if Nawaz plays, then he's better batter. So, all of these conditions will, all of this will come hmm. into the play. So, yeah. Uh, for now, it does look like a road, so probably more batters and batting all rounders. Right, absolutely. So that is our thoughts on how the venue is expected to be. But keep in mind that you tune in and try to see the pitch report yeah. once, just in case something different is doled out. Another key information is Ramiz Raja said in the pre-game in the last few days that they've still not been able to get the drop-in pitches, and hence we don't expect something too much different. So on that note, let's look at what base team we have for this game. So like you can see on your screen, this is the base team that we have currently set up and we have gone with the keeper in Ben Duckett. Now, we also have Rizwan as another option, but we ex we have made this team mostly keeping in mind that England are expected to bat first and hence we have gone 7-4 in that favour. There's no logic to that. We have just mm -hmm. made it based on England batting first in case Pakistan bat first. Feel free to drop one of these English batters or the keeper and go with the extra Pakistan batter. So, any uh, apart from these choices, Nikhil, do you see anyone else who is a prospective bowler in this batting section? Uh, again, I'll just like to add, it's not expected. We are assuming that that yeah. England will bowl first. So, we don't have any information of that sort. Okay, who is going to win that and all of that. But yeah, uh, see, very legit point. Uh, Rizwan's returns are better in the shortest format of the game. And the longer hmm. the format goes, the returns have not always been that great because he bats also very differently and in a and in a very different role. So hmm. if you feel that Sarfaraz will play out of the box, you can possibly go ahead and play him. Uh, but if Rizwan is playing, he's a safe option. Now with keeping, if you feel there is a spin collapse, keeper's role becomes very important. And here hmm. also you will see Ben Fox is going to keep and not Ben Duckett. But we are assuming that it's a role. So Ben Duckett should get in and get a good score and he's very good with sweeps and reverse sweeps and all of that. So he should be able to get in a decent score for us. So that is the logic behind uh, Ben Duckett. And otherwise, you see all of them are proper top order batters, your top three both sides. Uh, hmm. that is, it's literally that 
uh, which is very rare that you do. But again, <laughs> it is based on the assumption that it's going to be a row. So yeah. here, say, uh, bowling ke taraf, agar aap dekhenge, option, so Joe is possibly the only one who could bowl here. Uh, but uh, you could pot- potentially take a risk on both Ben Duckett and Abdullah Shafiq if you feel yeah. that they lose any cricketer. So you can possibly take a lower order option as well. But again, uh, we don't know the 11s yet. We don't even know the one 11 is announced will be the 11. <laughs> so that is that is going to be a free fall uh, when the lineups come out tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. Now, unless you feel like an early wicket is going to fall, there's yeah. no reason for you to drop any of these batters. But if you feel like that will be the case, then maybe you can try someone like Nawaz, Fahim, Sharif, Ashraf, if you expect uh, either of them to play. In the all-rounders, we have gone with Liam Livingston, Ben Stokes. Liam Livingston is the second spinner for this game, practically, unless Joe Root is considered as that, and Norman Ali yeah. as the Pakistan spinner. Again, we have no idea on who Pakistan is expected to play, but Norman Ali has been playing consistently for them, so yeah. we expect him to come in. The other spinners on avail to them, Abrar, Ahmad, Nawaz, neither have played actively, so it's difficult for you to make that choice before lineups. Through that, so they can, uh, it's the same logic we are kind of, we are going with people who are very specific. Ben Stokes, we don't know how much he will bowl, so uh, that is also something that to keep in mind. So sometimes he bowls a lot, sometimes he bowls less. But again, he's somebody. If the, if it's road, he will bat one day and he'll take the game away in one session. Same is the case with Liam Livingston, because that's what they are trying to do with baseball. That they are trying to bat out bat the opposition out of the game. So. Toss and what you think will happen is very crucial. So I think Livingston Ben Stokes will be there in everything. Norman hmm. Ali could be a very handy option for you, but he could easily be neutralized with the number of options that England have in terms of left-handed batters. So be very sure it's not a T20 ODI for matchups to be uh, so imp- uh, so critically important. But hmm. you just want to have more options if you want to. So Norman Ali, you can take a risk there if you see Abra Ahmed playing it. Yes, absolutely. And the bowling, we have gone with Jack Leach, the lone spinner, like or rather the lone primary spinner for England. And Ollie Robinson, who like Nikhil Bhai mentioned, along with reverse swing, can also help you with some batting points. And hence, we have opted to take him. And uh, apart from that, uh, while Nikhil Bhai is talking about baseball, keep in mind that Joe Root said, don't be surprised if McCullum and Trescott they come out to bat first tomorrow in case the players don't turn up fine. So let's see if that actually happens and baseball on a road with the mm. pioneer of baseball is in. That, that would be a different kind of baseball. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And now let's look at what the golden Grand League options for this game are. So, Nikhil, why? Who are your Grand League options? Uh, first one, I think we did uh, we did take his name before. I think Abdar Ahmed. He has an excellent record at the venue as well. Mm. And if he comes up against a lineup that is eagerly attacking, and there is some help for him, I think he should do very very well. Because mm. they, if they keep attacking, he'll keep be in the game. He'll be in the game a lot more. So that is why he's my pick from uh, the Pakistan side. I was hoping that Rehan gets a game, but as of now, in the 11 that is there, he's, he's not playing. So, I'm hmm. going to take a proper Jai Mata Deres can go with James Anderson. Okay, that is luckily uh, not into my territory. So, I'm happily yeah. hearing those names out. My two names for this game from England, Harry Brook. Now, yeah. while maybe test match record might, while, might not be as appalling for you, but he has a really good record in Pakistan, played well in PSLs, troubled them across games. So I think maybe he can transfer that form into this format too. And if the pitch is a road, then it's going to be, he can actually wreak havoc. And uh, my other choice is Mohammad Nawaz, who I'm hoping and expecting to should bowl more along with helping you with the bat. So yes, those are my two options for this game. You do tell us one from England, one from Pakistan who your options are for this game too, as far as Grand Leagues are concerned. And we hope that all of you enjoyed this preview. Have a great game and all the good luck to you. Take care. See you soon.